Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna install a additional Furion backup camera so that I can hitch up my goose box nice and easy. Remember, if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. There are several different videos of people putting in several different types of cameras in the bed of their truck so that you can line up your goose neck hitch uh, with the ball of the truck. It's pretty easy to go center left to right, but the front to back can be quite challenging, especially when you can't even see the ball, uh, whether it's because you have an extended cab um, or if you have something in the bed of the truck, you can't see that ball, it makes it super, super difficult, which is the majority of cases for a lot of people. So to make that easier, people add cameras in the side of the bed of the truck so that they can see the ball uh, from the side and know exactly when to stop. Now there's multiple ways of doing this from uh, you know, some, some systems that actually go to the stock camera system. And if you can go that route, uh, that's great. Uh, another way to do it, and the way I'm doing it, is using the Furion camera system. The Montana already came with the Furion backup camera, which has a backup camera and two side cameras, but it has room on the screen for a fourth camera. Usually it would be for the doorway for security purposes. Uh, I'm gonna be doing my own different type of security camera, so I'm not really concerned about that but I'm using that fourth camera spot to add into the bed of the truck. And it's a pretty uh, cheap way of doing it in terms of what other things are priced out at. Um, I was seeing the Chevy, you know, for, for my truck, the camera system that goes to my Chevy backup camera system was upwards of 500 plus dollars. And I wasn't really 100% sure if it was even gonna work because I, I can't really tell if my camera system is meant to be able to take in two cameras. I, I don't really know. Um, so without digging deeper into that, I just decided, well, I already have the Furion camera system. I already have the Furion screen. Why not just use that? So let's get right into this project. Obviously, you only really need one thing for this project, and it's your Furion backup camera. Um, now this, it specifically says doorway security slash rear camera. That's the kind I went with. Uh, there is another type of camera that is the uh, side blinker camera or, you know, side marker camera. Um, I'm sure you can use one of those, but then you have a marker light in the bed of your truck and there's no reason for that. So I went with this, has a nice little hood over it for weather protectant, and uh, I felt it would look good in the bed of the truck. First things first, we need to go ahead and pair the new camera with my existing Furion uh, screen. So to do that, we just need the plug because it has uh, a little thing right here for the camera's power. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. We're gonna plug in the screen and we're gonna plug in the new camera. It has a little port on the back. Plug that in. We're gonna turn the car to on so that I have power going to that. Close the door so you guys aren't beeping. Okay, so. for pairing on the Furion camera system. To my understanding, it's pretty simple. We're gonna start by pushing the side button and we're gonna just go right into pairing. Now, I don't have a door cam yet, right? I only have uh, my rear and the two sides. That's how it came, um, which is why this made perfect sense to me. But we're gonna go into pairing. We're gonna pair the door camera. Now on the camera, we're going to press the button on the bottom of the camera, press and hold it. Set to hold for two seconds. I just held it and let's see if it goes into pairing. Oh, looks like maybe. Okay, so on my screen here, I, I, I held the camera button for a couple seconds. Let's see if that actually, bam brought up the camera. So now we have a new camera added onto our screen. Uh, obviously the other cameras aren't on here because they're on the RV and the RV is not hooked up. But now that we have uh, this on here, I can use this in the bed of the truck. So next we're gonna go ahead and get it mounted in place. Next we need to go ahead and find where we're gonna put this inside the bed, which I've already determined 
we're gonna go right in this area here okay because we're pretty much sitting i'm gonna try and turn the camera so you can see almost perfectly lined up with the center of where the goose ball goes so we're gonna mount the camera right in this area as centered as possible so that when it's when the camera is looking at the goose ball it is basically directly perpendicular to it so as i'm backing up and, and everything it's it's pretty much dead dead on so we're going to go ahead and uh, run the wire that came with it um where did i put it and grab it real quick so it came came with the cable which again on one end is the little plug and the other end is a simple little uh, positive and negative very very tiny okay um, I'm gonna wire this up the same way I have the cameras on the Montana set to where when you turn the lights on it'll activate the camera because I don't need this camera on obviously 99% of the time it's only when I'm gonna be hitching up and uh, using the camera system so uh, we're gonna wire it up probably just because the seven pin is is already right here and I'm mounting it right over there I assume I'll be able to get, you know, some cable through the sidewall here and uh, get it wired up into that seven pin um, so that when the lights come on, it comes on. So let's get that process going. So under the truck, I got the wire to come through up top above the wheel well, down, and then I have it tapped in right here to one of my running lights. So we're gonna go ahead and test it and make sure that uh, the camera turns on. Like I said, I got it right here in the bed of my truck. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in and go inside and turn the lights on um, to activate the power to this and see if it turns on. Moment of truth. All right, so now uh, obviously our wiring is good. The camera came right on and is right on the screen. So you can see it. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and um, mount the camera uh, where I want it and then we'll get it angled. We got where the hitch ball goes and perfect angle up. We got the camera mounted. So let's go ahead and check it on the camera and see if we have a nice good view. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ball in there just to uh, get a nice realistic view of what it would look like. So that's what it looks like. Now I'll be able to see exactly when my goose box is coming over top and I can stop directly center and drop it down. That's it. Uh, I just used a couple little self-tapping screws to mount that into the side of the side of the truck there. Um, very simple project, very easy to do. As long as you already have the Furion camera system, I think this is probably the most efficient way to do this kind of thing. Uh, I know there's a thousand different ways you can do it, a bunch of different camera systems online. I just didn't feel like having either an additional camera screen or messing with my stock one because I wasn't really sure. And plus I was way more expensive and uh, I had the extra space on the Furion. So that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.